well now, Juliet? Madam, I'm not well. Evermore weeping for your cousin's death, what wilt thou wash him from his grave with tears? And if thou couldst, thou couldst not make him live. Therefore have done, some grief shows much of love, but much of grief shows still some want of wit. Yet let me weep for such a feeling loss. So shall you feel the loss. I cannot choose but ever weep the friend which you weep for. Feeling so the loss, I cannot choose but ever weep the friend. Well, girl, thou weepest not so much for his death as that the villain lived which slaughtered him. What villain, madam? That same villain, Romeo. Villain and he be many miles asunder. God pardon him, I do, with all my heart, and yet no man like he doth grieve my heart. That is because this traitor murderer lives here. I, madam, from the reach of my hands, would none but I might venge my cousin's death. I will have vengeance for it. Fear thou not, then weep no more. I'll send to one in Mantua, where that same banished renegade doth live, shall give him such an unaccustomed damn that he shall soon keep Tybalt company, and then I hope thou wilt be satisfied. Indeed, I shall never be satisfied with Romeo until I behold him, dead. Is my poor heart so for a kinsman vexed? Madam, if you could find out but a man to bear poison, I would temper it. That Romeo should, upon receipt thereof, soon sleep in quiet. Oh, how my heart abhors to hear him named and cannot come to him, to wreak the love that I bore my cousin Tybalt upon his body that has slaughtered him. Find thou the means, and I will find such a man. But now I'll tell the joyful tidings, girl. And joy comes well in such a new time. Where are they? I beseech your ladyship. Well, well, thou hast a careful father, child, one who, to put thee from thy heaviness, hath sorted out a sudden day of joy that thou expects not, nor I'll look not for. Madam, in happy time, what day is that? Mary, my child, early next Thursday morn, the gallant young and noble gentleman the county Paris at St. Peter's Church shall happily make the, thee their joyful bride. Now by St. Peter's Church, and Peter too, he shall not make me their joyful bride. I wonder at his haste, that I must wed, ere he should that be a husband comes to woo. I pray you tell my lord and father, madam, I will not marry yet, and when I do, I swear it shall be Romeo, whom you know I hate, rather than Paris. This is news indeed. God in heaven bless her. I speak no treason. May not be speak. O oh God, O oh nurse, how shall this be prevented? My husband is on earth, I faith in heaven. How shall that faith return again to earth unless that husband send it to me from heaven by leaving earth? Comfort me, counsel me. Alack, alack, that heaven should practice stratagems upon so soft a subject as myself. What sayest thou? Hast thou not a word of joy? Some comfort, nurse. Faith. Here it is. Romeo is banished, and all the world is to nothing. That he dares ne'er come back to challenge you. Or if he do, it needs must be by stealth. Then since the case so stands as now it doubt, I think it's best you married with the county. Oh, he's a lovely gentleman. Romeo's a squat to him.